Hi everyone, welcome back to Atlantic Fleet. Here we are with the Royal Navy. Fantastic. Right, so first up, where are we? We are early in the year of 1940, we still are. Um, I didn't mean to speak slightly like Yoda, I'm not sure where that came from. Right, where were we? We've just had the Christmas break in the real world, and um, so it's been a while since I've actually looked at this. So we've got the heavy cruiser Berwick, light cruiser Ajax, and two destroyers up near Reykjavik. A couple of um, U-boats or subs uh, either side. Uh, here we have two destroyers. Here we have the light cruiser Sheffield, which has been damaged, and two destroyers. In the English waters, or the UK waters, we've got two destroyers, but I think we've got ships... No, we don't have ships in um, port. Okay, is it up here we have ships in port then? Where the USS Tuna is guarding... Yes, guarding the Scapa Flow shipyards, where we have um, the aircraft carrier Furious waiting to come out in one turn. So, what I might do is send Sheffield into uh, the UK waters and get a, that light damage repaired. Yeah, four turns, fantastic. Okay, no worries at all. Um, so these should all be destroyers. Yep, yep, yep. And there should be a cruiser here, shouldn't there? Yeah, heavy cruiser Exeter. Down here we have the two destroyers as well. We've got some capital ships down there. So in the Mediterranean we have the battleship Warspite, the heavy cruiser Suffolk, and the Afridi and Vanuk destroyers. Right. Time for you to leave the Med, and you can come down to the South Atlantic to do some hunting. Excellent, right. So I think we're pretty much... Um, where we want to be are oh, we got we got oh, we can still buy another another ship so let's buy a destroyer because that's what we need destroyers are pit oh, actually I did, I did read your comments and some people were saying uh, corvettes are fantastic they're cheap and they're fantastic against just u-boats obviously hopeless against everything else but against um u-boats they're pretty good um we can get a we can get a Corvette, but we've got we're only half a week of April, so we have to wait a couple of days before this one comes available. Should we do that? Let's do that. Let's wait, and we'll get a Corvette as well. The Corvette can um, patrol around the Furious. So let's um, move on. So we get week one of uh, April. Here we are in the Norwegian Sea. Allied merchants attacked by submarines. Sixty three thousand five hundred ninety tons of merchant shipping sunk. The Devils. Uh, and, as we talk, the U-104 has engaged the Nepal and Norman destroyers. And no, uh, no doubt they'll fire some torpedoes point-blank to get one of those out of the picture. As they have the initiative. Oh, no action. Ooh, okay. So, here we are. The Nepal is in the four. Norman is behind. And the, the, uh, the sub is behind us. So, there's the sub there. I'm getting... No, there. Okay. Let's turn hard to port then. Now, do we have any aircraft? No. Okay. Uh, we are a little bit far away. Uh, wind is with us. Well, wind's kind of going that way. So if we aim a little bit over here. And... Can we select that? Boop. There we go. Um, right, and then we'll counter for the wind. Elevation 15.2. I did see some people saying, oh, don't use your guns against the uh, subs, but, um, you know, if we hit the the conning tower, uh, see, we're in, we're in, yeah, he's coming straight for us, so, um, you go to flank speed, and you, you turn slightly to starboard. Trying to keep a, a slim profile to her as well. Um, so if we target that as well. Yeah, people saying uh, just use your torpedoes and depth charges against subs. But obviously, if we can get a strike on the conning tower, we can't really do much. We can't really fire a torpedo or depth charge from here. There's no point. It'd be useless. So um, it's always worth. Now, the other thing they said. So we've got elevation predicted on 5.8. Um, so 5.8. And they always say bring it down a couple. So 5.4, for example, because uh, that's obviously to the periscope and you want to be hitting the conning tower just in front. So, brilliant bit of advice. Thank you, whoever that was. Wonderful. Right. We'll continue the turn to port for uh, the Nepal. Uh, 
Uh, there she is over there. Right, we'll um, bring the gun slightly there. 13.5. Um, 15.2 .5, apparently was on the money. It wasn't really. 13.5, uh, so we'll bring that down to say 13. There we go. Oh, there's the periscope right behind there, right. Um, let's let's do a little a little turn to port. Let's see, we're gonna try to keep a slim profile to the um U-boat behind until we get a little bit of range where we can spin around. Um Oh, okay, we can't actually fire because we don't we can't fire behind us apparently at that angle. Okay, well we'll just skip on then. U-104 is uh, moving towards our destroyer. Right, so this time we were a little bit shy last time. Yes, we were. So 14.2 uh, is the recalculated. So if we go 13.9, fire. Another hit. Another good hit. Right, let's turn to port. We need to get that, that rear gun facing. Will that not face the... Um... Why is that rear gun not facing... Oh. <clears throat> Select the bloody guns, you moron. Okay, I hear you all cry in despair. Sorry. That uh, is, you know, I haven't played computer games for almost two weeks over Christmas. And it's, um, yeah, it's uh, showing. Uh, elevation of 8.9. Let's go to 8.5 then. Something around that mark. There we go. Slight adjustment for the wind. Probably not that much, actually. There. Ooh, that's close. And she's left the combat area. Look at that. We got two strikes against U-104. She received light damage and she ran away. Yeah, good start. Oh, wow. Then, in the western approaches, we have the destroyer Janus and the destroyer Watchman with a convoy of C2, C3 freighters and a large freighter um, has been intercepted by U-76. The forerunner to the famous U-77. Um, but yeah, we've got a convoy to protect from this U-boat, so let's get to it. Torpedoes away straight away. Who's that going for? Oh, well, this, this ship ain't got no hope. Oh, well, maybe it does. Hang on a minute. Wow. How, how did that ship do that? <laughs> that is... Wow. Okay. Brilliant. Um... So, yes, okay, fine. Uh, let's go back to, anyway, the Janus, who is the first ship up. She's at the back. And torpedoes are coming there, there. So maybe actually coming for her. So, I'm going to turn you hard to starboard. Uh, I can't. Where is the actual bloody U-boat? Can you see that? It's there. Oh, well, I see it. Yeah, the wind is... Okay. Wind is a wee bit like that. Uh, do we have any aircraft? No. Okay. Uh, high explosives then. Uh, elevation 15.9. We'll go 15. Um, and probably... No, the wind's quite light, so probably about there. Bang, bang. Oh! <laughs> We were on the money. Absolutely on the money. Right, flank speed ahead. I want you to do a lazy turn to starboard. Targeting um, U-76 there. Almost, almost said 77. Um, right, we'll target about there. Elevation is 10.4. Let's go 10. 10.1. And let's drop that down. 9.9. .9, perfect. High explosives. Fire. <laughs> Good hit. Now, um, you, I want you to go hard starboard. We've got torpedoes coming here and here. So if you go hard starboard, bearing in mind these turn like a nothing. There we go. That's not too bad. Right, now you you also turn to starboard. Oh, normally I'll do them as a convoy turn, but at the moment I'm just going to um, try and get these all sort of manufactured to be okay. Right, we've got torpedo coming straight for us. So... Once again, hard to starboard. 
is our best bet to try and narrow the profile. Now this one, yeah, you go hard. Mm, yeah, you go. Ooh, lazy turns. There you go. We don't want to hit that torpedo. Right now, the rest. You can go to port, actually. Who's over there? Destroyer. Okay, we'll send you to port. And the torpedoes have missed. Nice. Oh, we'll have to keep an eye on that ship there. And U-76 has bugged out. Nice. So Janus and Watchman Destroyers have done their job. They've kept the convoys safe, and they've sent U-76 with some light damage, scurrying away to the depths of the ocean. Wonderful. Wonderful. Right, week one, April 1940. Up here, the Furious has just been released from port. So we will send her... We were going to send a, a little... What's this got? Um, four inch guns, 16 knots. Oh wow. It's got depth charges, it doesn't have torpedoes though. Um... Well, maybe we, we, we won't wait for that. Maybe we'll just get a destroyer. Because uh, I'm thinking that might be a little bit better. Let's get the Kelly. Let's buy the, sh the, buy the Kelly to um, be support for the aircraft carrier Furious there. So we've got the Tuna, the Kelly, and the Furious now sitting in scaffold flow. I don't want them to sit there too long. We have um, the Berwick and the Ajax over there. So Furious and Kelly, you hit... <clears throat> Excuse me. Head over there. So we've got a nice um, task force outside of Reykjavik. Nice. Right, nice. Um, right, over here, we had these guys. We'll leave the Vanuk and the Vendetta. And these guys are going to head um, south to the Atlantic, South Atlantic, to um, create some kerfuffle down there. We do have a ship up there on the Norwegian coast. That's that U-boat who's been causing a bit of grief to our merchant shipping, so we may need to send something up there, but we don't have anything available. I suppose we have this, but we'll become in, in danger of the um, Luftwaffe if we go too close to that Norwegian coast. So, and flying up from here, weren't they? So, I um, have to think about that one. Meantime, I've noticed they've gone six red bars on the tonnage war. Hmm, not good, not good, but um, what can you do? The West Greenland Sea, Allied merchants attacked by submarines, 54,650 tons of merchant shipping has been sunk. Ouch. And the Janus and Watchmen, having saved one convoy, now have to confront U-109, who's, um, who's hunting in the Western Approaches, and she has the initiative as well. Oh, she didn't lose torpedoes straight away. Ooh. Ooh, right, she's coming this way, and we are going the other way. Okay, so she's going that way, we're going this way. So, brilliant. We'll do a lazy turn, try and get behind her. Well, I say behind her, she's still got a rear torpedo, hasn't she? So, um, we got to be careful of that. Right, west approaches, do we have any aircraft? No. Christ, we never have any aircraft. Uh, I could launch a torpedo from here, actually. Uh, let's select the, um, the U-boat. Uh, what's... Torpedo solution of 86.4. Which would be there. So we'll lose a torpedo there. I'll lose a torpedo there. And I'll lose a... No, actually, we'll fire four. Because she may not necessarily move. So fire. Actually, I didn't check the... Di How far were we distance-wise? Because we're not actually that close. We might actually get her in... No, we won't get one go. Okay, stand down. Uh, where's where is everyone? There they are. Right, you turn to port. Um, you get get some distance away from the U-boat, and you can pummel her with some guns. Um, we'll select U-109 there. Uh, wind is quite strong, and it's sort of going. Well, you can see from the smoke. I don't know. I don't have to show you. Uh, elevation nine. So if we go to 8.6, perfect. Okay, we adjusted too much for the um, torpedoes away. Oh, cross torpedoes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hopefully our torpedoes get her. 
Yes! Got her. U109 is sinking, which is good, which means we don't have to worry about dodging her torpedoes. Woo! Nice, nice engagement. Nice quick engagement there. U109 sunk for 1,030 tons. Uh, sorry, 32 tons. Beg your pardon. Noise. Right, let's move um, the War Sprite and Co. down to the Mid Atlantic. Uh, well, suddenly Mid Atlantic. Now, um, what we're going to do with these guys? We're going to leave. Oh, we've got three destroyers. That's quite a powerful task group, actually. I guess. Do you know what? We are going to go. We're going to go hunting. We're going to go hunting. We have to go hunting. That's our powerful group. Even though I'm worried about the the Furious, we're going to have to go hunting with that. Okay, let's skip on. Boom! Iceland. Allied merchants attacked by submarines. We just left <laughs> the area. Honestly, 65,590 tons of merchant shipping has been sunk. Oh, 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 hello. The Koningsberg light cruiser has decided to engage off the North American coast um, with the heavy cruiser Exeter and the destroyer Valentine. Well, we, she's obviously going to get the initiative. She's going to open up first. Oh, God, she's got powerful guns. Straight onto the Exeter. Oh, for love of God. AAA is damaged, right? Okay, so what's the Exeter got? The Exeter's got 8-inch um, guns. What's the Collinsburg got? Can we go over there? She's got 5.9s. Okay, okay. But she's got 9 of them. What's the Exeter got? 6. 8-inch. Okay, great. Right, wh which way is the Whitlaw? Again, watch the smoke. Um... Turn slightly to port. We want to get that rear gun in the action. Boop. Oh, we haven't done that particularly well at all. Brilliant. Well done, me. Um, elevation. 14.8. 14.8. There we go. Right. Uh, it's a light wind, so if we fire from about there... Oh, we're short. We're short. Uh, right. Flank speed. You charge straight for her. If nothing else, it gives her something else to concentrate on. Um, do we have any aircraft? No! <laughs> we never have any aircraft. Brilliant. Right. Target the guns over there. Can we even target the Collinsburg? Yes, we can. Right. So they're going to move quite a bit, even though it's a light wind. We're quite a distance out. 40... Let's go higher than that. Fire. Well short. Right. She's continuing to fire on the uh, the Exeter. She's ooh, managed to miss us for once. That's nice. Oh, for... what was that? Move to port. Let's get this rear gun in. We are seem to be a little bit heavy at the rear. Mark Coningsberg. Right. Um, last shot was short. Um, and that was 14.8. 16.5. Okay, that sounds like a good um, calculation. Right, let's go to about there. And we're long. Brilliant. You keep charging in. We need to get some shots on her. Otherwise, we're, you know, we ain't going to be... Forget the uh, extras, bigger guns, but um, we're not going to be around for them to actually lock on at this rate. Oh, good hits. Oh, more flames. Oh, X is in trouble now. Main spotter and radar is damaged. Brilliant. You're just a bit rubbish, aren't you, Exeter? Really? Really? Right. Um, 
that was 14.5. So I don't believe that for a second. Let's come down to uh, low 15s. Fine. Hey, we got a glancing blow. Nothing more than that, mind. Meanwhile, our destroyer is flying in. Firing away. Maximum. <laughs> Maximum fire. It's getting nowhere near the ship. Oh, a bit of plunging fire. Ah. Almost within range. She's not taking the bait. She's not taking the... Oh, here we go. Whiz bang pop. She blows it up in half now. You watch it. Um, can't see through the smoke. <laughs> um, so where were we? Fifteen one last time, and we were just about sure, weren't we? Say so fourteen five. Now I'm going to stay at fifteen one, just for the wind. Fire. Oh, it's just short. Rubbish. Ah. Oh, I forgot to adjust for the winds, but never mind. Would these actually hit? Oh, you know, we, we actually would have had a chance of hitting at that time. Oh, good hits again. I hate this accurate German gunnery rubbish. <laughs> she hits us every time. Right, we're going to have to move. Oh, we still got the rear gun on the fight. That's good. Right, um, 16.8 they reckon now. Now, I'm going to go 15.7. Because... Oh, actually, no, she is pulling away a bit, isn't she? Yeah, we're closing the range, though. Okay, let's go 16.9. Uh, Fire. Oh my goodness, would you stop washing the side of that ship and actually hit the damn thing? Ah! That's all we're doing is cleaning it every time. Obviously, you've probably already twigged out the, uh, the, the destroyer is uh, a two thought action one. Oh, I thought she was going to switch to the destroyer then. Oh, right. Okay, let's just get the extra out of there. She's absolutely useless. Although, she's still in the fight. Now, Exeter. Oh, we, the smoke's clearing. Will you, the guns are still at operation, which is the main thing. Will you? Would you actually think about trying to hit the damn thing this time? Fifteen five, fifteen nine. I'm going to go sixteen one. Fire. Ah! Oh! I hate it. Right. So we've been doing well against U-boats today, but rubbish against actual shipping. Brilliant. But they're plunging fire. Oh, we've actually gone over the ship there. Yeah. Do you know what? Half of me is thinking, well... Uh, if we lose the Exeter, it's no bad thing, because she's not the greatest of ships in the world. Sorry, Exeter. But, um, we could certainly get a better ship. <laughs> right, now uh, the wind's light, so we don't need to go to all that fuss. It's saying, look, 15.5 and 16.1 we're falling short, so I'm going to go 16.7. To hell with you. We're still short! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right, um, so we actually, 33 point, we actually don't have to fire at maximum range anymore. Uh, oh, 
God, just long. God, that's quite nauseating camera view, wasn't it? Her, her gunnery is just so good! How can you fight against this kind of gunnery? This is ridiculous. Is she dead yet? Pumps, oh, pumps are gone, so she sh she's sh um, not long for this world. Right. 16.4. We're firing well over what they recommend. Oh, actually, she's coming back in a touch. So, we aim for about there. And I'm going to crank it up to 60, 17. Cluster the shots. I'm feeling good about this. Oh, yeah. Didn't feel that good about it. But we've got, if we're going to go, we've got to go with her. We've got to take her down with us. Which is kind of like the name. Wow! Ah! Name of the game right now. And all of a sudden, the destroyer can't rain her shots in. Yep, good more hit. Oh. Yeah, we're, this, the extra's not long for this world. So we're just going to use her as a kind of a, a sinking gun platform now. Seven, it's still saying 16.4, and we know 17 just about scraped a hit. Well, she's coming actually clo a little bit closer, so we go 16.9. Fire. Ah, <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Meanwhile, our destroyer is getting nice and close. Uh, unready, beknownst to the. Uh, the Coningsburg, although, you know, she is actually firing at us, so she should know. It should be blatantly obvious. Oh, she's making smoke! Look at that, first bit of damage and she's running away. Yeah, yellow belly! Let's notch that up to 17-3. Ooh, that was a nice, nice hole there. Right, if this destroyer can close in on her. We might be able to get some uh, nice shots away. Uh, some torpedoes away, sorry. Wow, the elevation on this, this gun, uh, on the guns on the destroyer, you move up one notch and it, <laughs> it's, it varies quite considerably. Yeah, I don't think the Exeter's going to get out of this round, but if we can um, continue to... Uh, Pummel and pummel away. Oh, okay, that went a little bit higher than I was expecting. Right, so last shots were over. Obviously, we can't. There's no point clicking on, clicking on her because uh, she's smoking, so we're not going to get an elevation. So if we drop that to say um, 23.6, what do they say to that? Well, long. She's still making smoke. Exeter is just about surviving. Uh, ooh, okay. Don't, don't look at our uh, destroyer. Don't whatever we do. Don't target that for heaven's sake. Um, actually, that should be on the money this time. If we get the angle of the dangle of the wind right, mm, probably about there. Fire. Oh, <laughs> Exeter! <laughs> there you go. That old that old cat's still got teeth. The old what's the what's the what's the phrase? The old dog still got teeth. I don't know. It's a stupid phrase anyway. Doesn't make much. Anyway, um, anyway, twenty three six was long. So if we go back to twenty two. I, I'm sure we're lowering the guns, but the uh, we're firing further. It's um, no. right. Um, right, we need to crank the guns up a little bit. That may have been a little bit close and not taking consideration of the wind enough. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was still a bit long anyway. All 
Alright, let's get the guns down here. Let's see what that. There we go. That's short, but we can work from there. Just about survived. Well, the Exeter's going to be scuttled. I can almost guarantee that. Um, the game's going to scuttle her. So, that's the thing. Oh, we're bang on the money, though. So, if we actually get the angle of the dangle right. About there. Oh, no, we didn't quite get the angle right, but... Isn't it weird how um, these battles can turn so quickly? So quickly. Right, so last time uh, we were short at 17.9. Um, so if we go to 18.9... We're really long. Okay, so we're somewhere between the two. What I want to do is... How is the Koningsberg actually doing? Her pumps are damaged as well. Ooh, okay. So it's who sinks first. Lovely. <laughs> I love that kind of... Whoop, um, that kind of movement. How her speed is increasing. So we need to increase the range a touch. Just for the wind. Fire. Oh. There or thereabouts. Right. Continue to close in. We're getting there. Right, so we are closing in, of course, so the, the range is dropping. So if we go back to our minimum, which was 17.9, and fire again, and see where that takes us. Okay, 17.9 is now long. Oh, X is just about, <laughs> just about there. Right, so our range is probably about right. We maybe go up a couple of notches. Get the angle of the dangle. And see if the extra our gun platform can. Ooh, that's good shots, but um, not quite on the money. Okay, so 17.8. Let's drop this down to 16.5. This is our new calculation. Fire. Oh, so close. So close. Boop. <laughs> it just moves that, that little fraction. Basically we're just bobbing in in the uh in the sea at, the, at this point. Right. Range increase. I'm gonna spread the shots out a little bit more because the distance is getting increased and it's gonna be difficult to um nail her in one go. Oh, if we'd have got the angle slightly better, that would have been a devastating blow. Right, so we know we're closing in. So 16.5, I'm going to drop that down to 14... 14.3. Aha! We found our range. It is a little bit like throwing tennis balls against the side of a house. But, you know, <laughs> it's not it's not too bad. It's not too bad. The range isn't too bad at all. Let's get our... We've been over-simplifying it. Or we've been over-egging the wind recently, haven't we? So let's go a little bit closer. This looks good. Ah, that rear turret is out of action. Nice. Right, so with 14.3, let's drop that down to 30... 12.9, that's not too bad. Uh, we do have high explosives on this, so... Okay, a little bit short, a little bit short. But we're not even moving now. I think the Exeter's days are very much numbered. Unless you can get those pumps working, but I doubt it. Um... Let's have a look. Where were we? Boop, boop, boop. Now we need to increase the range a little bit. So let's go to 22.9. Adjust for the wind. Fire. Oh, and we bracket her. We bracket her. Okay. Uh, let's drop this down to 10.4. Oh, 
Oh, that was a bit too much. Ooh, actually, she's listing quite badly. Just as bad as the Exeter, but... Um, the Exeter seems to be doing remarkably well to stay buoyant for the last uh, few goes. So let's increase the range of touch. Plus the shots. Because she's turning away from us a little bit, so fire there. Let's see how that goes. Oh, I think we just slipped away. Yeah, we just slipped. We just slipped a few notches. It's almost, we can almost fly a fire flat here. Not quite. Not quite. The guns aren't quite powerful enough. Oh, hello. I thought you were making smoke. Clearly not. Right, where is she? There she is. Smoke is cleared. We can see her. Now, last time our shots slipped to the side. So if we notch her slightly... There. Our range was... We increased the range a few notches. Let's go to 23.6. Fire. Right, um, let's have a look at this. So she's got a rear turret, is still in action. Damn, it would be nice if we could knock that out. Um, what's her distance? She is 5,400. And how are we doing? Uh, oh, propulsion's damaged. Rubbish! Rubbish, right, we'll do a little bit of dodging. Let's lose some torpedoes. There, oh, hang on. There we go. Um, so to get the Konigsberg, we need a torpedo solution of 310. Can we get that before it runs out? Yeah, we can. 3108. Okay. There, they reckon. Right, we'll lose one behind it. We'll lose one behind that, just in case she dodges, and then we'll lose one. Oh, was that all we got? We had three torpedoes. Is that it? Okay, fire. Splosh, splosh, splosh. Torpedoes away. This is where she repairs her engines and she blats on nicely. Okay, I fear for my destroyer. <laughs> Three torpedoes inbound. Um, right, where were we last time? Stop looking at the Exeter. We want to look at the Godinsberg. Range is okay. We were slightly... Right, there... I'm going to notch the range up again. Fire. Looking good. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right. Oh. Everything's busted. The rudder's busted. So all we can do is move. Um, let's select some high explosive guns. And... Fire. And we'll just pepper the uh, the water behind it. Oh! Right, come on, torpedoes. Come on. Come on. Just put us out of misery. Yes! That's what you get, Koningsberg. That's what you get. Well, that was a tough battle. That was a really tough battle. But the Koningsberg light freighter has been sunk. But unfortunately, as I predicted... The heavy cruiser Exeter was scuttled for 10,350 tons, and the destroyer Valentine received heavy damage. So it was not really a victory. Not really a victory, I'm afraid. Right, meanwhile, U-27 is chancing her luck against the War Sprite, the Suffolk, the Freedy, and the Jackal. She's got the initiative, so no doubt she'll fire four torpedoes straight into the War Sprite, without us being able to do anything about it. Oh no. Right, here we are. So... Um, there she is over there. Okay, lovely. Sorry, where is she? I'm being a bit stupid. I'm looking in the wrong direction. 
that might help. <laughs> right, let's get the old um, binoculars out. Um, she's not going to be yet. Where is she? She's somewhere over here. Where's the destroyer? So she's not... Oh, she's behind us. Oh my goodness, I thought we were going the other way. There she is. Yeah, she's 227. Or 225 maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Sorry, I was being absolutely befuddled then. I couldn't quite... My brain couldn't quite picture what I was seeing. Right. Which is, which is no thing. Right, anyway. So, um, submerged contact. God knows what the range is probably going to be. Let's, um... Do we have any aircraft? Let's let's fire some um, four and a half inch high explosives just to try and get some range. Probably about fifteen of these small little guns, and they'll be affected by the wind. So we'll fire about there. Where's that land? Bit bit long, right? Okay. Uh, meanwhile, we're here with the Suffolk. Um, again, we got the we got the range on the U-boat, so that gives us a little bit more time to think about how we want to do this so we can chance it with some uh, shots. Uh, is that her there? Okay, so I reckon range is going to be about five with the big guns. And... Ooh, it's probably about seven. And here's our destroyer, so let's spin around so we can actually see her. I'll try not to hit the, uh, the warship. Uh, she's... There. Um, just for the winds. Elevation could be 17 point, 17.8, which is probably going to be. It's going to be open in salvo. It's quite a range. So if we go 17.6, um, I don't think we're close enough to be able to, you know, drop the estimate down a little bit. Right. Let's go hard to port. Select the U boat. We could probably just outrun her, to be fair. Uh, we're, we're actually dead on, so we don't have to adjust too much. Uh, it's 13.4. The opening salvos will go with it, even though yeah, we have been dropping it down. 13.6, there we go. Ooh, right on the money. So I'm going to just continue the, uh, to get the capital ships out of there, to be honest with you. Um, so let's target about there. I reckon probably let's go and switch to the big guns actually. I reckon probably somewhere about here. Fire. Ooh, just short. But you don't have to be accurate with those big guns to actually cause horrific damage to the uh, the U-boats. So um, last time out we were just short, weren't we? So let's notch that up to about six and a half. Was that all on the money? It's difficult to say. Um, Range-wise, we got it. We got it almost spot on. So 17.5. I'm going to notch that down to 17.3, just for the wind. I don't think we're a million miles away. No, we were just long there. All right, we'll. we'll skim the edge with this one right 11.5 so let's go to 11.3 just no we don't have to adjust too much for the wind because it's smack on us cluster the shots oh just short just short and she's left the combat area she's had enough she received some light damage from the uh, the shells raining in around her so the uh, the war spikes task group has um, sailed on without any damage wonderful good result that Brilliant. Right, so where are we? We've lost the Exeter here. So we've got the shipyards um, on the American coast. So let's get the Valentine, who was heavily damaged in that last skirmish, in to repair. And uh, we've got a, we've got another ship we can um, we can buy. So do we need? Do we probably don't need a um, a, a heavy ship. 
but I just want to see what's available. Uh, that's Fiji is the Crown Colony class light cruiser. That's, um, that skips off the tongue, doesn't it? Um, that's quite a nice looking ship, actually. She's not available for another month or two. Uh, where are we? A April, so no another month. Another month, yeah. April, um, end of the month, that should be available. Uh, the Dido class is 18,000. Um, yeah, I, I don't really think that's really going to be much use. The Newcastle Town Class Light Cruiser, again. That's actually really nice. Uh, I quite like that. We get the Belfast, the famous Belfast. Um, no, no, we won't. Um, the Leander Class Light Cruiser. What's that got? 8 times 6 inch guns, 8 times torpedoes. Hmm. That's a nice looking ship. York class heavy cruiser. How much is that? Twenty nine thousand. Oh, we can we can buy it, but we shouldn't be buying these big guns. Oh, County Cumberland. No, 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 no. Uh, that's not available. That's not available. That's available in uh, in about eight weeks' time. The illustrious, the formidable, the victorious, the indomitable. Oh, nice. Um. Oh, what was that? The hood. How much is the hood? Seventy thousand. We can't afford that. We can't afford the hood. <laughs> Repulse, renowned battle cruiser. Uh, can't afford her either. Oh, the lion. She's not for another couple of years. What? Look at that ship. Wow. Anyway, I don't know. Ooh, North Carolina, nineteen forty-one. King George, the fifth. Anyway, anyway, stop, stop, stop teasing myself. Let's let's come back to what we can actually. Um, reasonably afford. So let's get um, let's get another destroyer. I know it's boring. Um, let's get the the Kingston. There we go. Nice. I do like heavy ships, but there's no point. Let's let's send her into boop, and she gets some rearmed or renewed. So that's empty at the moment. But we've got two destroyers in port, um, getting repaired. Up here we have the um, Furious. Um, task group obviously checking out there um, and we've got the war sprite who's heading south to the South Atlantic to target that ship down there which is causing issues for our convoys but with another red square they're up to seven now on the tonnage war that's a worrying sight indeed um, week two April 1940 it's getting hard it's getting a tough old fight now and um, yeah, it's it's really a bit of an arm wrestle, and uh, we're not doing particularly well. We're it, we're yes, we got the uh, the light cruiser there, but we had to scuttle our heavy cruiser. So you know that's probably a victory to Germany, to be fair. Dark days, dark days ahead, but we'll leave it there for now. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you're continuing to enjoy the Royal Navy playthrough of Atlantic Fleet. Um, it's tough. <laughs> it's really tough. Uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year, and I'll see you very soon.